Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we'll be tackling lead code question 171 titled Excel Sheet Column Number. We're given a string type parameter named column title and we're supposed to return its corresponding uh, column number which is of type uh, integer here. So as we can see here on lead code, uh, this question is marked as easy uh, but I do have to exercise some caution here. It's actually easy if you actually understand the concept of ASIC value uh, if you guys don't know uh, feel free to check this out in Apple uh, developer documentation so basically if we don't know about this concept here I think this question is actually quite hard uh, so initially when I attempted this question I didn't know about this uh, on top of my head so I was struggling to solve this question so um, this is this is essentially the key thing uh, for us to be aware of to solve this question. So uh, essentially once we know this value, uh, this ASIC value, uh, basically we're going to add it, uh, we're going to loop through the string uh, and in Swift if we loop through a string, we are actually accessing the characters within the string which is uh, of type character and then via the uh, character we are going to get the ASIC value and uh, since we have we may have multiple characters within the string we're just going to append the uh, ASIC value to a variable holder and that variable holder is essentially the corresponding uh, column number right so uh, just to be clear again uh, in case I, I'm pretty sure most of us have seen an excel sheet before in our life but for those who don't uh, it's pretty much the same thing as like uh, Google Sheet and uh, all the other kind of sheet like Apple Pages and stuff like that. So, um, but for the purpose who are not too sure, uh, basically we have the y-axis is usually the uh, numerical value and the x-axis is usually an alphabet to represent the row, right? So basically our task for today is to convert the parameter here and uh, which is type string and find out the corresponding column number okay so pretty much uh, simple I'm just going to jump straight into the code and show you how we're going to use the ASIC value to actually find out the uh, uh, corresponding column number and one thing to note uh, and it's quite important here is that the column title uh, within this question here this parameter is only uppercase English letters so this is actually quite important because uh, in ASIC uh, value, uh, basically uh, a character which is uppercase and lowercase has different ASIC values. So uh, actually I did pull out a table, so let me just show you guys. Uh, you guys can just Google like ASIC table uh, essentially. So just want to draw your attention to this. So as you can see here in characters, uh, capital A is 65 and character of lowercase a is 97 so they may be the same alphabet but the uppercase and lowercase does pro, uh, give a different ASIC value right so you can see here A is actually uh, 65 so just keep this uh, 65 number in the back of your head right because we're gonna use a concept of it so uh, let me just jump straight into the code and see how we're going to solve this. So as always, I'm just going to check my parameter if it's empty. Um, this is just for fast optimization. Uh, essentially, if we know that the parameter is empty, there's not no work to be done. So we can just exit out of this function scope uh, as fast as possible. Then we obviously need a variable to store our corresponding column number so let me just go and call these results and return results here so we need to look through the entire string to access each character within the string and via the character we're going to get the ASIC value so here uh, we're going to look through index value in column title enumerator right? So because uh, we have 26 characters, uh, 26 letters in the alphabet, A, B, C, D, all the way to Z, and the total number of that is 26. So what I'm going to do here is actually uh, times equals 26. 
and then uh, we're gonna uh, append uh, but use plus equals so that our results variable get updated and each time we are looping through this uh, string we are actually looping through the character so for example uh, string a b the first iteration we are going to get just a second uh, character is going to be b right so we want to append to this result or update this result variable so that we can get the corresponding uh, uh, column number essentially right so we can see here a is 1 a b is 28 right so we have to append the value to the result as we uh, look through the string character so over here uh, so this is where we can see uh, value here let me just change this to character so that's a bit clearer uh, so character asic value uh, and then we are just gonna minus 64 and the reason why we minus 64 is if you remember right uh, the number is 65 here right so as we can see from this table here a is actually representing 1 so that's why I uh, found out that we need to minus 64 here uh, so pretty much that is the solution for this question uh, let me just go ahead and run this and hopefully we get it right on the first try uh, looks good let me just throw in more test cases looks good as well let me just go ahead and submit this and there we have it uh, that is the solution for this question it passed uh, so yeah just to recap this question is actually easy uh, but as we can see here if we don't know this concept of ASIC value actually like uh, I'm not too sure <laughs> exactly how to solve it as well initially when I first stumbled upon this question I wasn't too sure how to go about it but this concept this ASIC value here is basically the key ingredient to solve this question uh, the whole looping thing is quite straightforward i guess uh, basically we just look through each character within the string and then uh, as you can see here we just append the uh, we update the results based on each character's asic value so yeah hopefully you guys find this uh, solution uh, helpful if you do please feel free to uh, like share and subscribe my channel i'm trying to grow this channel as well so thank you very much for your time take care and bye bye